Hello everyone and welcome again to our science class. Today, we will discuss about the levels of biological organization. Levels of biological organization is the hierarchy of complex biological structures and systems that define life using a reductionistic approach. Every species on the earth came from the simplest to complex form. A species evolved from single cell to complex and multicellular bodies. In this process of development, the body systems and mechanisms adapt the nature. So this lesson also will help you in establishing how important each living organisms on the earth and how important it is to preserve the ecosystem through your knowledge of these levels of biological organization. Let us begin from the lowest and simplest level of biological organization, the atom. Atom is the smallest particle of matter. In a single atom, there is what we call negatively charged particles or the electrons. At the center, as you can see, this part is what we call the nucleus. Nucleus contains the neutrons, which has no charged particles, and the protons, which are the positively charged particles. Next, when we combine two or more atoms together, it is what we call now the molecules. Again, molecules is a group of atoms. Organelle is a subunit of cell. It is also defined as a small organs that are found inside the cell. Example of organelles are chloroplast. Chloroplast is an organelle that conduct photosynthesis in a plant cell and mitochondria which is considered as a powerhouse of the cell. Organelles work together in a single cell. A cell is considered as a basic unit of life. All living organisms are made up of cells. Now there are two kinds of cells, the plant cell and the animal cell that will be discussed on the next video tutorial. A group of cells work together to perform a specific task is what we call tissue. Again, tissue is a group of cells. For example, this one. This one is an example of a muscular tissue. Next, organ. Organ is a system or a group of tissues that work together to do certain jobs within an animal's body. Example of organs. The first one is what we call the brain. Next, kidney. Then, large intestine, the lungs, stomach, liver, heart, skin, and an eye. So these are the examples of an organ. Next, organ system. It is a group of organs that work together to perform a specific bodily function. These are some examples. Circulatory system is responsible for the blood circulation. Nervous system acts as a control center of the body. Respiratory system is responsible for the breathing. Then, digestive system is responsible for digestion, absorption of the nutrients, and excretion. A skeletal system is responsible to support our body and to protect our internal organs. Then, the muscular system is responsible or functioned to allow movement. Organisms means an individual form of life. It can be a bacteria, human, of course, animals, and plants. Next, 
a group of organisms or a group of multiple organisms of the same species within a specific area is what we call the population. For example, Filipinos in the Philippines and the tertiaries that are found in Bohol. Next is community. Community consists of all the different species within a certain area, just like in this picture. It includes human and the animals or even the plants within a certain area only. Ecosystem is made up of all the communities in a certain area, as well as all the non-living physical components of the environment. So here is an example. It includes the plants and animals there and also the non-living physical components which are the soil, water, and rocks. Next is biomes. Biomes is a large community of plants and animals that occupies a distinct region. Terrestrial biomes, typically defined by their climate and dominant vegetation, include grasslands, tundra, desert, tropical rainforest, and deciduous and coniferous forest. So here is an example of biomes. A desert. Again, it includes a large community of plants and animals that occupies a distinct region. And last but not the least is the biosphere. Biosphere is simply defined as the place, area, and zone where the entire life on earth exists. Here is an example. So the biosphere involves the atmosphere or the air, hydrosphere or the water part of the earth, and the lithosphere or the land. Okay, so when we said biosphere, it includes or it involves the earth itself. Before we end this video, let us recall again the 13 levels of biological organization. The first one is atom, molecule, organelle, cell, tissue, organ, organ system, organism, population, community, ecosystem, biome, and biosphere. Again, these are the 13 levels of biological organization. Thank you and happy learning!